Okay, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much once again for joining me. My name is Eileen Nolan, and I am the proud author of the Memoirs of an Empress. Um, today, as part of my organization, Black Girls Write to Incorporated, I have invited you all here, and I hope that um, in the future, we will continue to invite more and more people and just help this network to expand. Um, hoping that we will have some others join us later, but we will just please make sure that you have your name in the chat, which I see that most of you do. The purpose of this call today is just to talk and network with each other, find out ideas, how we can learn from each other about ways that we network in our community and our specific niche. And why I say that is because even though we are all authors, we all cater to specific communities and to specific readers. And so um, I just wanted us to be able to share with the global community things that they may do if they are in our particular niche, for example, or even if they just wanted to get some ideas about how they can go about networking, which is super important to one, expand your um, community, obviously to sell your books, to get people to know who you are, and obviously to bring your voice to um, our, our global society. So I'm just gonna go in order by who, signed in first. And so I'm just going to invite at this time, Ms. Jamie v Vini to please first tell us who you are a little bit about yourself. Also about your publication, you could pick whichever publication you have. Um, one, if you want to just focus on how we could get a copy of your book, your books, and then obviously to speak on ways that you specifically network in your community. So thank you and welcome. Good morning. Okay, hi, thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. I am Jamie. Um, so the reason why I, I usually just put V instead of my whole last name because um, I have like a little alias. So anyways, um, I'm originally from Ohio, but now I've, I've been in, living in Brooklyn, New York for the past 10 years, going on 11. I have been writing, blogging since I was in high school. Um, I guess first as, a, as an outlet to express my feelings and just to um, get my stories out there. And then people started reading them and liking them. So I was like, let me just see if I can take this somewhere. So I just published my first book last week. It is called Do the Work, Let's Heal from My Journey to Yours. Um, I've gotten some really good feedback on it so far. I've gotten some, you know, criticism on it as well, which is a good thing. It makes people better. And if you would like to find my book. I'll drop the link in the chat. It is for sale on Amazon right now. And what was the other thing? Networking, right. So as I said, I just published my first book last week. So in terms of networking, um, I've been using Instagram. I've been working on building my platform as I was writing. And so Instagram has been really, thank you so much. Instagram has been really huge for my networking in terms of being able to promote um, my posts and I've built like an, uh, a decently large following in the past two months. And so a lot of those people have ended up buying my books and sharing and things like that. Um, I've also, I have a friend that does graphic designing and so she makes, you know, little logos and t-shirts and stickers and things like that. So I've actually had her create a logo for me. It's one of those faceless portraits and it says findingjamie.com and then it has the book title next to it. So she's created 25 stickers for me for $15 that I've been putting, you know, in little places and stores and um, what do you call them? Polls and things like that. And so people have reached out that way and been like, oh, I follow your blog. Let me read your book. Or I follow your Instagram now. Now I want to read your book and things like that. So not a lot on my end, but um, enough for me to get started. Thank, and thank you so much for sharing. So you talked a little bit about your blog. So tell us a little bit about your blog because that's, I'm sure, very helpful in the networking um, community. Yes, so um, my blog is called Finding Jamie and I just created an LLC for it. So now it's Finding Jamie LLC. And that blog has been up and running on various platforms for at least five years. And so the following on that is 
larger than I thought it was going to be considered it started off as just a private platform for myself. And so um, I blog about my book release. There's um, a section on the top of my blog that says buy my book and it takes you right to the Amazon link. And um, some of the things that I talk about in my book, I very, very briefly touched upon in blogs. And so when people comment and they ask, you know, for me to elaborate or go further, when is this next post going to come out? Now my answer is, okay, if you want to know more about this little bit that I told you in this blog, I've written a whole book about it. And people are just like, oh, okay, I can't wait to buy it. Can't wait to see it. And so that increases the numbers because now they've read a little bit in a blog and they want to know more. And so now it prompts them to move into buying the book. Yeah, I definitely think it's important to hype up the crowd. I mean, and, you know, when I work with clients, I always talk to them about pre-sales and how important it is to um, just let people know what is coming forth so that when it actually drops, there's like that appetite for people to want to just go ahead and grab it. So um, thank you so much. Um, did you want to tell us anything else about your networking before I call on the next participant? Um no, I don't think so. I don't, I don't have a lot right now as I'm just starting. So I'm, I'm more eager to hear and grab other ideas from my other friends. But Thanks, thank you Dad. for allowing me to share. I know the feeling. And um, so hopefully in the future, you'll be able to invite some others to come on this call because I know that in your blog community, I'm sure that there's some other authors or aspiring authors. So don't forget to reach out to them and let them know what's happening here. Um, it's the first of the month, every, I'm sorry, the first Saturday of every month with, re, with exception to January because we pushed it back a little bit because of the holidays. Um, and anybody who wants to get on this call, all you have to do is email me at zy, Z-Y dot Nolan, K-N-O-W at iCloud.com. And I will forward you the information with the calendar and all the directions for our call. So without further ado, thanks again, Jamie. I'm now gonna call on Haley. Haley, um, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Also tell us a little bit about your book, how we can get it, and then how you are going about networking in your community as well. Hi, my name is Haley Moon. I am 13 years old. I wrote my first book at the age of 12 and I, published my book, which is called The Rules of a Big Boss, A Book of Self-Love through Amazon Publishing. And you can get it on Amazon, obviously. But um, I also have a website which has accessories that like talks about kind of like confidence and basically everything that I would talk about in the book. Well, almost everything that I talk about in the book is also on the clothes and it helps like promote my book and vice versa. So the book helps promote my clothing and my clothing also helps promote my book. So since I have those two that go hand in hand with each other, you can also get my book off of my website, which is www.thebookofselflove.com. And that is where you can get all of your accessories, masks, hoodies, t-shirts, all of that. I also have a Instagram and Facebook page, which is the Book of Self Love 2020 on both platforms. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also have a local hair store that I go to when I get my hair done that the owner, Miss Avian, she helps me promote my book while, because like, when people walk in, then she'll like introduce the book where they can get it and they can also get it from her because I have like a stack type thing that's in the back of the desk that you can see when you walk in. And I also have a poster that's back there as well. So you can get it from there. And since I have multiple um, brand ambassadors and places that you can get it, that also helps promote and get the word out. Another way that I go about networking is talking to different author groups and being at different conferences and having all of these different interviews. So, thank you. So that is also 
how I promote myself. That's pretty much all. <laughs> so you talked about your accessories and I see that you're wearing your shirt. I love it. It's Thank really you. Nice. Um, so you not only have accessories, so tell us a little bit about the accessories because I don't want to give it away. So you have a lot of things available. So tell us about, let's say one or two of your favorite things that um, you promote often. Mm -hmm. I would say the hoodies. I specifically like the pink ones because I like the color pink. Um, and I also like the face mask. And I like the face mask kind of because of like, not the colors, I just kind of like this is weird, but I kind of just like the way that it's like shaped. And as far as the hoodies go, like I said, my favorite, one of my favorite colors is pink. And I like the pictures that are on it. Awesome. And so um, I see that your shirt, what does your shirt say? The rules of a big boss. Rules of the big boss. So what's the message behind that? Self-love. Self-love. And so um, the reason why I brought that up is because, you know, like I was saying earlier, we all have a niche. And so like when we talk about a niche, we're talking like a small percent of a community that might like click to your ideas. So um, when we're talking to Haley or we're talking to Jamie or Dr. West or Miss Freddie, um, we all specifically talk to, you know, specific target audiences. And when we are trying to think about how we can network, it's really important to think about who we're talking to and how we can grab their attention. And so, you know, as we're moving through the various participants, just think about how these people have their specific um, messages that they wanna to send to their community and who might they be targeting and what might they be doing that would attract others to come into their community. So this is what this pur the purpose of this call is all about. And so without further ado, I would like to introduce Dr. Annette West. Hi, everyone. So I got so many things going on, but I just want to share with you real quick um, a shifting. Because sometimes we be doing so much stuff till we got to pull ourselves back and we got to look in a new direction. So I've actually been writing since 1984. I have everything that I've ever written in my files. Still have paper files. <laughs> um, but I wrote my first book in um, 2006. And it was Living Words of Encouragement, Volume 1. Since then, I've published. And this is when I say since then, I had a long break in between where I was doing biz other business stuff and running a business and different things. So it kind of pulled me away from my writing. So it was actually 10 years between writing my first book and my second book. I believe if I had stayed in the game, I'd be way up here by now because my first book, Volume of Encouragement, sold 8,000 copies. Then I didn't do anything else. I had the second one almost finished, didn't follow through with it. So it wasn't until 2006. 2016. So basically it was a 10 year anniversary when I brought out volume two. But since 2016, I have published uh, for myself four other books. Um, my pride and joys are, I don't have a, one of them in front of me, but my pride and joys are holistic wellness, mind, body, spirit, the book, and there's a journal to go with it. And then my second baby, and I'll show you the picture. <clears throat> is um, our newest book, and it's an anthology, and it's called Centered in Christ. And with this book, because you know you got to do your little marketing, so they also have a postcard and a nice, really nice bookmark that goes with it. This book is a blessing because it tapped into women's stories of what they went through at a certain phase in their life and how they wind up seeking the Lord and finding their center in the Lord in the midst of that situation. So this is, this is my baby. But what I decided to do, because I only got five minutes. So what I decided to do, since we're talking about networking, but in, the, in respect to networking, you got to talk about marketing. Because the two go together, they go hand in hand. 
So what I decided to do, since I have been helping so many people through the years to uh, basically coaching people, the Lord finally laid out on my heart, it's time for you to open up your own publishing company. So officially in, in um, 2020, the year of pandemic, where a lot of people are talking about this is the worst year. I think this is the best year. It has been a time of people staying in their homes more. So you've had the opportunity to refocus more. Um, and I said, if people come out of the pandemic alive and they don't have anything more, they didn't really want to do anything. So part of my coming out of the pandemic is my company, which is JETNE, J-A-T. E publishing. I have, and so in respect to the marketing and that um, the networking, I created a website for it. I don't expect a lot of uh, flow to it, but you got to have a website, okay? Um, so I've already have that set up. What I did, I did was I chose chose two platforms to get started with. It. That is Instagram and Facebook. I'm a Facebook admin, so I'm actually in the advanced groups on Facebook that they've invited me in because I probably have about 10 groups on Facebook flowing, four pages on Facebook flowing. So I'm doing a lot of connecting with a lot of people. But the point, what, I'm, what I want to get to you is you have to focus in and zone in on each niche. So even though I'm doing a lot of things, my holistic wellness is a totally different group. It's a totally different page. It's a has its own Instagram. And this has, as a part of JetNet, it has its own Instagram. It has its own Facebook. And so we have to make sure that we are connecting with people. So what I want to say in respect to the um and to the networking is connect with people who are doing what you're doing. Don't feel like because you've done this particular thing, you've got it. And also be very mindful of what's cost effective. You know, you don't want to spend a lot of money putting a lot of stuff out, doing a lot of things and nothing selling. So <laughs> you got to make sure that you're really careful about what you're putting out there on your pages. I was blessed that I already had a lot of stuff to put on my new page. And so I just kind of moved some things over. And so really, I just want to encourage everybody. Um, um, what was um, the young ladies? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Haley, such a great example, such a great example, has her mind focused, and that's what we have to do. We have to have our minds focused. We have to determine our goals, and we have to then what? Follow through with them. So it's nothing to, to do but to get it set up, but then you got to do it. You got to market yourself. You got to connect with people, and so with the people that I see in here today, I'm going to go follow those people because I want to see what they have going on. I want to make my presence known and that's what we have to do it's not that i want to come to freddie's page to take anything that freddie has or um replicate what she has but we are supposed to empower and to build others and so that's what i want to give you as a takeaway you know you can do all of this stuff but if you're not connecting with people you may have a whole lot of stuff and not have and it's not selling <laughs> i'll share that <laughs> thank you Thank you so much, Dr. Wesson. That is the truth. I mean, you definitely have to just go out there, network. And, you know, this is why I find um, when I started working on what can I do to reach out in my community, I said, okay, we could do this Zoom thing and I can network with people from all over the world. And that's what has actually been happening um, throughout the months since, since we've begun these calls. I've met people in Canada in Africa, all, all parts of the United States. And you know, this is, what is this helping me with? This is helping me with the book tour that I'm planning for next year. And so, you know, if I'm, if I'm able to meet people now, they could tell me, you know, what is, what would might be best in their community or what are some bookstores that I, I could reach out to, you know, just these little things, you know, just find something that you could do to kind of put yourself because, you know, people are not going to know you if you don't put yourself out there, you know, so put yourself out there and let people know who you are. And so uh, I'm so happy to introduce Freddie Wilson. Thank you so much for in, um, joining us again, just like with everybody, if you could please just introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about your book or books, how we can access them. And of course, what do you do to network in your niche? You're on mute. Good morning, everyone. My name is Freddie Woods Wilson. 
you know, uh, networking is great. Um, I, there is someone on the line who, who I know very well, uh, Dr. Annette West, and uh, she was one of the group conferences that bought a, a group of books from me. Uh, she had she had conferences going on, and she invited me there, and that was uh, one of my beginnings of doing a conference book signing at her conference. And I thank her very much for giving me that opportunity. Back, I, like she said, she'd been working a long time with this field uh, as writing. And um, it was many, many years ago that she invited me to this conference. And um, so it was very exciting. And, um, but my thing is uh, networking is as well on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, various authors group uh, sharing your book with 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 different uh, groups on Facebook, and I do know that Facebook, uh, if if you don't be done posting a while and they so and they're knowing what you're doing, they will ask you to contact your you know write a post and and keep your your uh, people going you know because stay in touch with your group you know because you don't want to lose out so i like facebook for doing that uh with me they'll do it pretty regular um so that's another way and um going to conferences and and author conferences and and writing conferences um that's a good way of networking and i do a lot of um i've been doing uh they started up uh by the block back um, uh, vendors here in, in my area. So I went to some of the vendors um, uh, buying the block back in the community and it was very well, uh, it did very well there and meeting so many other people and other authors there. So that was great. And, you know, I, ha I have, um, uh, a, a, a writer's group that uh, I share it as well. And I do have a, a page uh, also for writers on, on Facebook as well. And as far as uh, I have a, I have a website, which is Freddie Woods Wilson and another uh, um, um, new book that's coming out. This is it's coming out um, soon. I am taking pre-orders, uh, a fresh start. I've been taking orders uh, for about two months now. And this is a, a great story of a girl that uh, found the Lord doing a lot of process of, of relationships. And it just talks about when she found the relationship with God, everything came together. And another, another thing that I started this, uh, this year, uh, well, I started this last month too, um, a t-shirt on this book here. This is a conversation piece. How is God working in your life today? You know, with this pandemic and the killing of George Floyd and, and all these other black uh, African-American uh, sons and, and daughters, you know, this is a great conversation piece, but it's a journal, a workbook journal and uh, as you passing along, you know, people will stop and ask you, you know, because it's a great piece to start a conversation. And this book here is a, a journal where you can write down what God is talking to you. And it can also be found on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles and other stores, uh, other online stores. Um, Second and Charles, Books a Million. It's, it's, it's just been traveling. These books will go where nobody, where we cannot go. So I like that by being an author as well. And like I said, I have this t-shirt here and uh, it just got started last month. And I, I did very well at the community uh, outreach uh, vendors. So it, it's, it's going very well as well. And um, that's and I have a new another book that came out that my starting place was uh, a divine connection and it all a divine connection experience in a moment and it also can be uh, found on Freddie Woods Wilson and again reach out to me inbox me on Messenger in in Insta on Instagram and and uh, Facebook.
Thank you. Thank you, Miss Freddie. Um, I really appreciate you sharing that. And I love your t-shirts. How can we get um, a copy or I should say, how can we order your t-shirts? Uh, inbox me. Okay. I'm selling them through Facebook Messenger. Okay, great. And yeah. so would you like to share, you said that you had a Facebook group? Yes, it's called Randolph Writers Group. Randolph. So just spell that just so that I can write it down and I'm not spelling it incorrectly. R-A-N-D-O-L-P-H. Mm -hmm. Randolph. Okay. Thank you. Guys, um, everybody listening, make sure you join uh, Miss Freddie's Facebook group. And that's Randolph Facebook group. And you can always search those up. Okay. Because um, once you put the name in on Facebook group, Make sure you're on Facebook group, though. Um, and once you put the name in, it will definitely come up. So I just wanted to um, thank all of you so much for joining me today. And as you all know that um, each and every first day of the month, we're going to meet here and we have various topics. I am going to ask everyone to please, when you get a chance, just look at that document that I sent out because I need some ideas for our upcoming months starting, I think, in March. We need some topics. So Anyone out there um, who's listening to um, our recording, if you have some topics that you could offer us that we could share to the community, we'd greatly appreciate that. And so um, I'm going to be the last person to talk today. And, and again, my name is Zylian Nolan, and I am the proud author of the Memoirs of an Empress. And this is my book, and my book can be found um, just about everywhere. I have used the publishing house. so. Um, in doing so, uh, my book was able to go to a lot of platforms. It's available on um, audio, paperback, and also internationally. So please make sure you Google me, Google my book, and get yourself a copy. The holiday months are coming, and so this would be a great time to give someone. You have a lot of people here who talked about their books in all different niches. And as you know, people read books that they love. So find out what those people are in your life and what they love to read and buy them a book. And you have a lot of choices right here today. So um, Zyli and Nolan here once again. And the purpose of networking, of course, guys, just like Dr. West said, is to sell your book, okay? To let people know who you are and to get your message out. And so um, my book, The Memoirs of an Empress, is my first book. However, I am expecting that my second book uh, drops probably the end of December or the beginning of January, depending on my last final edits. Um, and that book, the second book, 1991, is the experience of African-American African women at predominantly white institutions. And so my niche is I write memoirs. And so what I do in my life, I'm also an academic, um, I'm a PhD candidate. And so I've learned to listen to the live stories of people and to use that as data to be able to share the stories of others. And so um, in my academic life, I've learned to love um, just learning about what goes on in people's lives and particularly the marginalized people. And so um, that is what my book focuses on. My first book, The Memoirs of an Empress, focused basically on the life of a single mother who's raising her children by herself and having to um, experience a lot of things by herself, um, being strong, but also in the end being successful. And that is the message that I want to share in the memoirs of an empress. So how did I network? So first of all, the, the way I know you guys is through my Facebook group. And I'm proud to say that my Facebook group has almost about 400 members. And it started off with three, including my mom and my sister. And um, it just grew because I, just as Miss Freddie said, I, I'm consistent. I'm consistent in posting. I'm consistent in inviting people to the group. I'm consistent in asking the members of my group to invite other members. And it's just been showing up, letting people know that you care, finding things that you can connect with, um, with the, the members in your group. Um, I also have been very blessed to, um, just like Haley and other members that have talked today, um, to be able to interview with several people um, in, in various platforms. As a result of that, I have become a co-host, y'all, for a radio show. I am on WWFM out of Baltimore, 
And I am super excited about that because um, Lady J is amazing. I love working with that team. They, um, we host the Urban Network team and I am on the segment that is on every other Monday. And that is on at six o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. So networking has helped me. Um, another thing that I do is I find out what's going on in my community. Uh, so I will be at a pop and shop uh, December 19th here in Sunrise, Florida, where I'll be selling my books. I will sell book baskets that I have created. I have my merchandise, just like many of you do, that I will also be selling. And of course, I'm going to be networking. I'm going to pass out my flyers. I'm going to pass out my business cards. And guess who's doing it? My kids. So everybody's in on it, okay? They don't have a choice. So what I do, guys, is I pull everybody in, from my family to my community, um, to my global community, everyone that I can get my hands on, everyone that will listen to my voice, just like many of you, I have YouTube. It's just important that people know who you are. Um, my goal is to be a, a New York bestseller author, and no one's going to, I can't be a New York bestseller if no one knows who I am. So I have to make sure that people know who I am. I have to be proud of my message. I have to know my message. And when people ask me, I have to have that answer ready. So, you know, be firm, know who you are, know who you're speaking to, get out there, meet people. So many people want to learn from you. Um, it is so important to share your message and also give back. And so this is why I'm here today. I gave back to my community, and as a result, sometimes I have 20 people on this call, you know, and sometimes I have one, but guess what? Every time I have the call, someone's listening, someone's pressing play, and someone is learning, and someone is going to become a published author because they've been inspired by this, by us, by what we're doing, and ladies, you are fabulous. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share with you and to hear and learn and grow from you all because that's what it's all about. It's not about me just flapping my gums. It's about learning and putting it out there so that other, we can empower, just like Dr. West said, we can empower others to be who they want to be because guess what? One day we were just like you all listening. Oh, I want to write a book. I want to write a book. And then one day that fire just came up, right, Jamie? That fire just sparked and you said, I got to do it. So whatever it is, you reach out to us. Um, all of you ladies, please put your websites in the chat so that um, people can access you, please. We want to be vocal. If you are out there and you want to be a part of this call, join our groups. We, um, Anyone else has a Facebook group, please put it down in the chat. Join our Facebook groups. We have Facebook groups. We have author calls, we have meetings, we have conferences, we have pu um, publishing houses right here in our group. So you don't have to go far if you have any questions, you need any guidance, we are here. And if we can't get the answer, we will find it for you. So thanks again, ladies. Anybody has any last um, things that they like to say for the good of the group? This is ladies, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, this I, is, I, I, hi, this is I, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I appreciate you all. Um, those of you who spoke, I already went. If you had an ebook, because I do better on ebook, because, you know, I do better on ebook. But if you have an ebook, I already downloaded it. So I just want you to know that while I was sitting here. Um, but, Freddie, let me ask you a question. Um, we can only get your book through you right now, because I tried to pull it up on Amazon and it said unavailable. Tech. Unmute, Freddie, unmute. There you go. Okay, right now uh, they're putting everything up on ebook and um, and um, Amazon, but on all the uh, online stores. So you can only pre-order from me. And oh. I would like for you to either call, for everyone to, Inbox me on Messenger or gotcha. Instagram. That's yes. fine. Okay, got you. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate and it. So, um, no problem. I see that. Um, now, I don't want to say your first name incorrectly. Is it Dedrick? <laughs> Technically, yes, it's Dedrick, but I pronounce it Dedrick. 
Okay. But um, anyway, I had to chime in and I wanted to give you ladies kudos um, and um, kudos for the exceptional job that you're doing. And also to add credence to what Zalia was saying earlier about the uh, her, the Facebook group, Black Girls Right Too. Um, I'm a member of it as, and Haley is too. But with respect to the networking and getting your voice and everything known, you ladies have actually inspired me and I've actually started writing my own book. Um, and it's, I'm not gonna give any information out about it, well, too much, but it's basically a snippet of my autobiography. And I wouldn't be writing it had it not been for you all actually being brave enough to write and speak and share your stories and testimonies and things of that nature. Um, it's scheduled to be released in uh, February of 2021. Um, Haley is going to be my co-author um, as far as the book and everything. So I just wanted to say kudos to you ladies. Um, you're basically leading and I'm following. So uh, much respect to you all um, and being brave enough to share your stories because were it, were it not for you all, um, I wouldn't be doing this now. So I just wanted to basically let you guys know that you guys are doing a good job and that you've all have inspired me. Yes, come with the fire. We all appreciate that. I hear you, Dr. West. And so um, I really appreciate that. And it just, it just, does my heart so good when I hear things like that, because if it wasn't for the inspiration that I have from others, I wouldn't be here either. And so I just wanted to answer um, Jamie's question that she dropped in the chat. Do you ever feel discouraged when people don't show up at first? Yeah, um, I've had, you know, I mean, just show up in general, absolutely. But if we're talking specifically about this call, I've had um, calls where I've, it's just been me and one other participant. Sometimes it's just been me and I just say, okay, we're gonna do a self interview today. Uh, I take advantage of all opportunities and I try not to bring negativity into my universe. And the reason why is because it takes so much effort to take that negativity out of my life and it takes less effort for me to put positivity in my life. And so I'm not going to lead that way. And yes, it does sometimes come up, but again, I take it as an opportunity. If it's not, it's, if it's not meant for me to have a, a large following or a large group of members to interview, mm -hmm. that I take that as a divine intervention. And maybe that was the day that I needed to say what I needed to say, um, you know, as far as getting my voice heard. So you know, yes, it, it does happen. You know, and then I have calls, like I said, one time I had a call when I had 20 people and it was just mm -hmm. like, ah, you know, um, it was a little overwhelming at first because, you know, you want to get everybody's message out. But again, it's all a learning opportunity. And yes, and, and it's like I say all the time in my Instagram book, group and um, sorry in my instagram page you know keep posting you know they may not like it but they they may not like your post but they still see your post so just remember that you know what i'm saying like keep going someone is going to see it you know they may not necessarily scroll and they may not necessarily like but they see it and trust me when i hear when people um inbox me and say um miss nola because that's how they know me on instagram miss nola you always on my explore page and i'm just like i am you know, but, and, but I am, and, and, you know, people will, um, you know, screenshot and send it to me. And I'm just like, really, you know, but I'm showing up, you know, every day, sometimes I'm posting three and four posts, you know, depending on what it is, I'm, I'm showing up because again, people are not going to buy my book. They're not going to know who I am unless I put it out there in the universe. And today I might, I may not get a new follower, but today I may get 10, you know, it doesn't matter. And it's not always about the following either, although I'm trying to get monetized, I'm not going to lie. But I am just letting you guys know that it's all about letting people know that you have a message and you have a voice. And that, again, I'm speaking to my niche, but anybody who's along, you know, use those hashtags. You never know. You know, use those hashtags. You pull in a lot of people with your hashtag. So Make sure you do your, your research because social media is a very important platform in these days. Anybody else, something for the good of the group before we go? Comments, questions, concerns? 
All right, guys. So as you all know, I'm going to, um, after this call is over, I'm going to drop the recording in the Facebook group, Black Girls Right Too. Feel free to share, share, share. And I will send you guys the information for our next call, which I believe is January 16th, because we adjusted the date so we wouldn't um, intervene with the New Year's. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I humbly, humbly thank you each and every one of you for being here today. Have a fabulous weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.